Hey guys, so Drapper's here, and today I'm going to show you how you can create a multi OS boot USB. So if you come to this link here, the link will be in the description. We're going to be using Ventoy to create a multi boot USB. Now I'm on Windows, so I'm going to download the Windows zip file here, and then I will download the latest version. And now that's downloaded, if I come to my downloads, and then I just extract the folder to my downloads. And then if I go inside of the folder, as you can see, we have this Ventoy 2 disk application here. So before we launch the application, you first want to plug in whatever USB you want to be made into a multi OS boot USB. So I already have my USB plugged in and you do not want to have anything on the USB that you want. As once we run this application, it will wipe everything off the USB and create two separate partitions on it. So if I come back to my downloads and I come inside the folder again, and then I run the Ventoy 2 disk application and then I say yes, and then you make sure your USB is selected, so I've only got this USB plugged in anyway, I would recommend you do unplug anything that you don't want to be wiped, as you don't want to make a mistake when selecting the device. So I'm going to leave it on my SanDisk Extreme Pro USB here, and if I now click install, and then I say yes, confirming that I do understand that data will be lost, and then I click yes again to confirm it, it will then start clearing the disk and creating the partitions. So as you can see, it's successfully installed it to the device, so we can now close down the application and if we come to this PC, as you can see, we now have a Ventoy drive here. So if you want to look a bit closer, if we come and open up Create and Format Hard Disk Partitions, as you can see, it creates a large XFAT partition that is used to store all of the ISO files. And then it has a small FAT boot partition that is used to go into the actual Ventoy interface on boot. So what you need to do is you just need to copy your ISO files to the partition that is mounted for you. Now, if you have a Windows installation USB that you want to make an ISO out of, I have done a video on how you can do that. If you want to watch that, that should be able to create you ISO files that you can use with Ventoy. And there we go, the ISO has now been copied onto the Ventoy USB. Now to boot from Ventoy, you may have to disable Secure Boot, and you will need to know how to change the boot order on your machine, or how to get to the boot menu. But hopefully if you are creating a multi-boot USB, you already know how to do that. So I'll just now power down my machine and boot to my boot options menu. Right, so now I'm in the boot manager on my machine. I'm now going to select my USB. And as you can see in the Ventoy interface, it now has the ISO that I put onto the USB. So if I press enter on that and then press enter on boot in normal mode, it will then try to boot from the ISO. And as you can see, it is now booting. And as you can see, it's successfully booted to the ISO. So I'll just load on a few more ISOs so that you can see what it looks like when you have more on and show that it works with more than just Windows. Right, so now I've put a few more ISOs onto the USB. So if I boot back into it again, as you can see, we now have many more to choose from. So for example, I'm going to try booting into the Linux Mint installer instead this time. And as you can see, it's successfully booted up to that. So guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you liked the video, don't forget to like the button. If you just liked it, hit the dislike button. Subscribe for content like this, and I'll see you all the time. Bye.